Chris. The Jags will be in black with a red trim, while Plainview, the Bears, white with a blue trim. Meanwhile, Coach Griffin told me the Jags will shoot it coming off the bus. They shot 30. Inside layup, and it's good. Plainview takes the early 2-0 lead. Bill Crest on the run. Point great dish off inside. Let can't get it to drop. There's Bradley with the rebound. Inside. That's on the left hand. They're all tied at two. Other end bears with the basketball. Steele, Hillcrest. They don't have the numbers. Let's see what Bradley does with it. Kobe takes it to the hole. Reverse layup and he got it. The senior little man point guard, 5'7". Possession of it, put it up and in. No blink, you might miss a shot. probably play eight better than 13 minutes in this contest and they all can shoot the tray. There's a shot from There's outside one. and that's senior point guard Kobe Bradley. job there on the other end too by Kobe Bradley of getting the defender off balance, getting in the air and drawing the contact. He's now in double digits with 10. He's got he's got 10 of their 12. Lost to the logo at mid strike. He wants to take a tray. Did. Got it. Yeah, he's got the green light. When you're talking about Kobe Bradley, you're talking about a senior point guard that can pretty much shoot it anytime he wants.
trying to figure, scratching his head a little bit, trying to figure out how to get uh, Hillcrest Evergreen back in this basketball game. Yeah, and they're, the way they play, 10 points is not that big a deficit. He gets an opportunity, he's usually just open and set, but he's not making it. He'll press Trey, put up, now it's good by Jarrett Taylor, the junior guard. Uncontested, too easy. Checking into the basketball game is Jacoby Bryant. Shot down the corner by Jarrett Taylor. There goes Bradley with the tray, a little too strong. Rebound, left. Cut across the lane, just stolen away. Now here's Taylor with the tray, that one's off. Rebound put up and in by Nettles. Garbage basket counts the same, right? Nettles getting a second chance opportunity there. He's got eight rebounds in the game. Armstrong down in the corner. Shot is blocked. And the hip press is gonna get the basketball. And it's also safe to say they got the momentum. This is the closest this basketball game has been since 3.40 in the first quarter. Jags with a chance closer. to tie with a three. A pull within one. Good. And one. Plainview quickly on the other end. Armstrong drives, kicks it over in the corner. Three won't go. Just a little short in the attempt by Tinker. Tinker just can't find the range. He's a good three ball shooter. He is now one of him. ten from three point range. Bradley and one of the advantage. The defense turned it up a notch. Looking for the three, working the perimeter. Bears stolen away. Hillcrest. All the momentum now on the Jag side. They have got. The Bears discombobulated a little bit. Let drove the baseline back out to the top of the key. Green. Now who's shooting the trays? The Jaguars and man has the momentum in this basketball game. Swaps it, swapped into the floor. Oh my goodness. They have got a timeout on the floor. Go Jags. Here's, here's how you get a 14-2 run. think he's out of the picture and then he's not. And on the other end he goes coast to coast for his 22nd point. Wow. Hillcrest now has a five point lead. This team was down 13 in uh, at the very end of the second quarter. This is what they've done though. They've turned it over, forced the turnover, and then Bradley all the way. They're starting to make mistakes they weren't making in the first half. Driving straight to the hole and shot is rejected by Nettles. Not a bad idea there by number 21, Clay Cade Willingham. The problem is Nettles was sitting in there at 6'3 in those long arms. 
Coming down on Tom. That's Drive. a good place to take the ball. And good it was blocked. Bradley's just, uh, all right, yeah. we're coming back now. And Hillcrest Evergreen wins it. Bradley's going to be the MVP. Blame you. I think the is tinker with the basketball. How do you get the turnover? Here's the steal. Just the like basketball Coach drew it up. It's Salter. Now, on the run, Bradley once again drives in. And one. He got the shot to go. He's hit three from the top, two inside, chance for a 6-0 run all by himself. Huge. Playing me with a five-point lead. Guess who just drives the lane and will not drop. That's the senior guard, Kobe Bryant. He comes Bradley. back out of the inbound. Armstrong forgot where he was at. Count it up, count it up, count it, count it up, count it up, count it up, count it. Clearly a huge possession here for the Jags. Guess who's going to control the basketball? How did Look he at do that? that? He's a magic. He's How a magic did man. he do that? He was cut off on the baseline. I thought he was going to step out of bounds. Four point, two possession basketball game with just under 20 seconds left. Bradley, oh, Bradley leans in and he threw the foul. He'll get three. And that was just great offensive basketball. And he came pretty close to making that basket. Yeah. This is the big one here. This gets it down to a one-point game and they can give a foul and still have a chance in final possession. Yeah, it looks got like Hester has got the rebound. It's a jump They've ball got the possession. possession. They got it. So they got a chance to tie right now. Oh, they got a chance to win if they take yeah, that three ball. Wow, what a change of momentum here. And no what, timeouts for Hillcrest. What what great timeouts and use of the clock by Chinson Griffin. I thought Coach Coker might need a timeout there. He's got two. Nettles inside. Off. Tie game. Got it. We got a tie basketball game. I, I, I know Coach Coker wants a timeout. He ran out on the court to get it. His players didn't see. He has two or had two left. Coker had to run out and grab the official. To, to inbound. Run the Armstrong's going to take Armstrong. it all the way. Here Armstrong he goes. On the run. Coast to coast. Puts it up, throws Tip. inside, shot, it's blocked inside by Nettles. Nettles saved the basketball game. It that looked was, like the easy lay-in for Dukes. Didn't that happen. was an unbelievable drive by Armstrong, How man. How did they have that much time? Because he's fast. But Nettles, out of nowhere, Dukes is just about to lay it in and be the hero, and he gets a tip on that ball. And Armstrong has the foresight not to take it up. What a pass. Oh, yeah, that's blocked. going in otherwise. That saved the game for the Jags. First fast on the run. Boy, the feed is perfectly by Bradley. Now he's tied up. Over down. Tinker's the good. Tinker. He got one. He was one of ten from three. And that's him with the basketball. Picked up by Cooper. Taylor had an open three. Now, here goes Bradley, what he's got it, he's got 40. Oh my gosh. That young man is a still stolen. inbound. Basketball at Salter, won't go. Salter throws it off of Barry, he threw it off Tinker. Still away, Armstrong with the steal. Armstrong coast to coast, it's broken up. A great defensive play on the other end by Ladarius Parker. Here he goes. Three, won't go. Nettles rebound. 
and got the roll. Nettles really starting to be a force down the stretch. One, four, got him trapped. Five, got him trapped. Do a foul. Do a foul. For 40 points. The 5'7 senior, Kobe Bradley, toes the line. Got it. Two point lead. I would look for Armstrong to try to create here and maybe find Murphy. Armstrong drives. Scott is just swatted away. Salter. With some big blocks by the Jags down the stretch here. Yeah, that was a big block. I think Nettle Salter both were in there. Those are two tall center guys. Dukes. Dukes. Wow. Rebound Taylor. Taylor dribbling high. He's trapped. There's Got a turnover. It. Stolen away. Cooper. Got it. <laughs> Hadn't seen too much of Cooper on the offensive end, but he stepped up right there and gave his team a one lead. Out of control, charge on Taylor. For Caden Milliken. Yeah, I want number five here doing something special. He's been, there's a three. He puts it up. Oh my right goodness. Up. Are you kidding me? Just busted the net. Are you kidding it's me? It's tied at 75. Going to a second overtime. They're not going to shoot this ball now. He's got to go now. He got to go now. He gets a little pick at the top of the key. Kicks it over. There it is for the win. Milliken got it. Milliken got it. What a basketball game. Plainview wins their first ever state championship. And their first ever state championship in any sport. Take over the PA announcer. Phil Collins, he's handing out the hardware. Both head coaches by Alvin Briggs. Coach Chinson Griffin of Hillcrest Evergreen Jaguars. Now, Coach Robbie Coker, the head coach of the 3A state champions from Plainview High School. Congratulations to both coaches for a great season. Now presenting the Coca-Cola All-Tournament Team Award is Denise Ainsworth, as well as Keith Mayfield representing Coca-Cola. As your name is called, please report to center court to receive your award. From American Christian, Luke Skinner. From Plainview, Jeffrey Armstrong. From Hillcrest of Evergreen, Kobe Bradley. From Plainview, Cade Willingham. From Hillcrest of Evergreen, Ryan Nettles. And your most valuable player for Class 3A boys. From Plainview, Caden Millikan. Please give them all a round of applause. And now, the 3A state championship runner-up, led by head coach Chinson Griffin, the Hillcrest of Evergreen Jaguars. And finally, congratulations to the 3A state champions, led by head coach Robbie Coker, the Plainview Bears. Christina Chambers trying to catch our breath after the best basketball game we've seen so far in this tournament. And we still have eight games to go, but as you see on your Baumhauer's Victory Grill screen and scoreboard, Plainview wins it 78 to 75.